Are you looking for a knowledge management app that combines visual noticing, local first operation, web based access, API access, outstanding UI UX? Then you have to check out Affin. Today, I will be diving into these new open source tools that is making wave in the knowledge management field. It has nearly 25,000 stars on GitHub and is absolutely free. I will guide you through its basic and compare it with industry leaders like Notion and Obsidian to show you how it stacks up. Before that, I want to do a quick shout out to my website where I publish my knowledge. Here you can see a comparison table of different knowledge management tools. The link to this comparison table is in the video description. To follow the updates of my Voft, you can use RSS or follow my newsletter on Strong Foundation. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do it now. I talk about many productivity tips that you will never want to miss out. Without further ado, let's just open Affin. To get started, you can go to affin.pro where you can see a very nice looking, very beautiful professional website. They introduce you with the basic features of Affin's. For example, they have this uh, block-based editors and the database feature like Notions. They also have this whiteboard feature, just like Miro. It's very powerful. You can install it on Mac and also Windows and Linux as well. It's cross-platform. What's cool is that they also allow you to install the beta and canary version. If you go into the web app, you can click on the notes and see how it looks like on ageless mode and page mode. They have some very cool demonstration. So I just click next. So I've installed Affin on my Mac. And once you open the app, you will see a list of pages in your workspace. I immediately spelled two interesting features. The first one is this page and ageless mode, ageless tab. And the second one is the collection here. So in Affin, a document can have both page mode and ageless mode. And ageless mode is basically a different way to present your thoughts because all the contents are the same. For example, you can see that here, basic things are blah, 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 blah. And then here is just the same. And you can create different block of notes as well. Here, I create a new note. And if you click on it, you can see how they are linked together. In the page mode, you can see the block appears here as well. So it's really cool because it gives you an extra way to represent your thoughts. Another features that is very interesting is this collection. So when you click on it, you will see that collection is a smart folder where you can manually add a page and automatically add page through rules. So I create a collection here, collection one, and then I add some rules. Let's say I want to select all tags containing the quick summary. And I also want to select some extra page as well. Now I have free page in these collections. So it is really cool that they allow this mix of auto selection and menu selection, which give you some flexibility and fine grain control on what should be inside this collection. So let us create some new page, page one, and then write something. You can see that we can call out slash for command, code block, do they have syntax highlighting? Right, they have it. And you can also set the tags here. Okay, I'll streamline your workflow. And if you call out the tags, you can see that they have pages and database. One very important feature for knowledge management too is that you need to link to other page and also backlink. Affins allow you to do that as well. If you link to templates galleries, you will see that it backlink to page. And then they also allows you to have database table, just like Notion, you can create different fields. Let's say a checkbox, done, right? And then you can filter a table just sh showing only the done uh, task. But one difference between Notion and Affinity is that each record of database in Notion is a new page. But each record of database in Affin is not a new page. It is just a record. It's just a record. You cannot change the content. You can only have properties for these records. And that's why you cannot refer to these records in Affin while you can do that in Notion. You can also set different views. For example, Affins have a Kaban view. 
and then you can drag and drop just like you would do in normal Kanban app. Now we go from page mode to ageless mode. You can see that all the contents preserved and it is a single block. You can extract block from, from the, from one block to another block. And now it becomes two block. And then you can, when you, when you click on it, you can see the numbers on the, on the bottom. Basically now you change the order in this page as well. Let's say if I create a new note and then this is note three. So what it happens in page mode is that it will append at, at the bottom. To change the order of the block, you can click on this right menu and then simply drag and drop this. So you can see the numbers change. Now it's one, two, three. This is no longer not three, this is not two. And if you go to the page mode, you can see that the order is different as well. So in h list mode, you can not only create these uh, blocks, you can also create different shapes. For example, you can create the square shape, triangle shape, and circle shape, and then type something and then link them together as well. So this is really cool. It is super easy and the performance is super good. You can also create text, draw it on the canvas. And then they also provide this kind of template for you to simply copy and paste. It's really handy. One noticeable feature of this ageless mode is the presentation and frame. They come hand in hand. And sometimes it will be quite useful as well. If you select multiple properties and then click frame, you can see that now there is a frame three here. And then just now there, these templates give me two frames as well. If you open this right menu again, and then click on frame, you will see that there's, there's three frame here, concept A, concept B, frame three. And if you click on presentation, this is how it looks like, but you will have a flow like the PowerPoint and you can do some presentations and it is really nice. And one cool thing about frame is that you see when you click on this frame, there's a insert in page button. And if you click on this insert in page, what it will do is that it will insert this frame into the page mode. And now you can see there is a number below this frame. And if you go to the page mode, you can see that it shows up in here as well. And one super powerful thing about Affin is that you can share this note to anyone using a URL. You click on this share button and then copy this link, paste it in a browser. You will see that the notes come out. So this frame appear here as well, and it works very well. It's really amazing. You can also change the share mode to ageless mode. And if you refresh the page, you will see the notes in ageless mode instead. You can also click this present button and then have this presentation on your website. So you never need your notes located in your computer. You can just share these notes to anyone. But what makes me a little bit confused is that they can simply remove this share mode and then anyone can open these notes on any website and basically toggle between the page mode and ageless mode. And that would make it uh, even simpler. If they can do it in the app, they can definitely do it in the website as well. And I hope that they can improve this in the future. So that's all about Affin. Although it is in its early stage, you can see that it's already super powerful. Combining the power of block-based editor like Notion and the whiteboard features like Miro, it can achieve so many things. And it is also local first. You can share it to other people. You have collaborations um, and you have database that is just too powerful. And that's why I believe that this app definitely have a good future. Now I will compare it with Notion and Obsidian, which are also the industry leader in knowledge management. In conclusion, when compared to Notion as a collaborative knowledge management tool, it's still a little bit behind because you don't have the commenting in Affin, although you can share this link to other people and then invite them into a workspace and edit the same documents together without commenting. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to cooperate. And sometimes Notion is not only a knowledge management tool, it is an integration tool because it's so easy to create database in Notion. It is basically fully featured, to be honest. And at the same time, it has public API. The API in Notion is well-tested and appears on many automation tools as well. For example, 
save here and make. And that's why Notion is super powerful. It has a wide range of integration. But I can definitely see that if Affins develop their public API in the future, they can achieve the same thing as Notion as well. Another important thing that Affin need to improve on is that in Notion and Obsidian, uh, everything is linkable. So you can create block reference in Notion and Obsidian, but you cannot do that in Affin. For example, these tasks, I cannot reference them. These blocks, I cannot reference them. I can only reference page, but I can definitely see that they can improve this in the future. So when compared to Obsidian, I feel like the ageless mode in Affin is just so much better than the canvas in Obsidian. If I create a canvas here and I create some notes, you can see that the option is very limited. You can only select the color, but there's no option to change the shape of the notes here. You can rely on some third party plugin, but it's just not built in into Obsidian. Another thing I don't like about the canvas in Obsidian is that the performance is just so bad. Look at this. I don't only have 20 notes here and it's already lag. It's, it's lagging. It's so laggy. And this was just not happens in Affin. Affin is extremely smooth and it is very fast and smooth and it comp it allows you to have different uh, styling options, which you ha will never have in Obsidian Canvas. Plus, you cannot embed a canvas in an Obsidian Notes. For example, I will have flowchart circles here and then you can see that all the things are gone. You cannot see the details in the flowchart. But in Affin, you can do that. You can even reference a specific part in your canvas, which you cannot do in Obsidian. Although I like Obsidian very much, I can definitely feel that Affin might be the future of knowledge management instead of Obsidian. Because Obsidian just has so many limitations. For example, although it is local first, it doesn't have an online version, which means my note is bound to a local storage place. But sometimes I want to edit it in someone else's computer, but I don't bring my uh, hard disk with me. That is always a headache to me. Plus, Obsidian is not for collaborative usage. It is only for personal knowledge management. Plus, Obsidian doesn't have a database feature. I already see that they have it in the roadmap. But given the fact that Obsidian teams only have three persons and the roadmap priority is unclear, I am not sure when will this feature come out and how good and developed this feature will be. But one thing that Obsidian definitely shine is is community plugins. So you got more than 1,300 plugins in the community plugin store and they basically give you superpower in Obsidian, which you never get it in other apps because none of the other alternative allows you to have community craft plug, but that will sometimes bring some drawbacks to Obsidian as well. But that will sometimes bring drawbacks to Obsidian as well. For example, the qualities of plugs in, they are not the same. Some plugs in that have better build quality and some other plugs in have poor qualities. User needs to spend time on testing those plugs in and see whether they are incompatible with each other. And also not all the plugs in in Obsidian support mobile apps, which means that the user experience on desktop and mobile, they're not just, they're just not the same. I noticed that the user experience of Obsidian in desktop is definitely better than that in mobile. And I basically not use Obsidian in, on mobile at all because the experience is just poor and there, there is sometimes synchronization issue. I just don't bother to test Obsidian on mobile app and I simply use it on desktop. And that's why allowing the community to create plugins for the app is not always the best paradigm, especially you care about the user experience and want fully control on the, of the experience on both desktop websites and mobile app, you will want to do everything by yourself. You don't want anyone to mess this up. And that's why Affin, they combine all the features into a single apps and then they have a very strong team to create it. And at the same time, it is open source. So. In this table, I compare different knowledge management too. If you go to their website and scroll to the bottom, but you can see the issues that open recently and the issues that are closed recently. So they have a very active community to help build the whole app. That's why Affins can grow so fast. And if we click download here and then scroll down to the bottom, you can see that they, they are developing the mobile apps. I'm so excited to see. Affins on 
mobile. And if it is on mobile, combining it is local first, collaborative, work like Notion, have Canvas, I can definitely tell that it might be the future of the knowledge management too. This is the end of the video. I've been learning videos editing recently and I spent so much time to create this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and tell me what you like or dislike in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.